So, hello everybody. Uh, I am Peter, and let's do some uh, image manipulation. And it's actually working! Wow, that's good. So, I'm gonna mute this so I don't have the Lou Gehrig sound all the time. Uh, the thing. So, anyway, I've been, my name's Peter, like I said, I've been doing uh, courses on Photoshop and photography for the last three years or so, and uh, I do a podcast on Blazing Caribou Studios called I'd App That. We're in a little bit of a, a lull in uh, releasing, we're, we're about a, two months behind, so I figured I have time to do stuff, so why not make a streaming thing and see where it goes? Anyway, so... Uh, Facebook, fi uh, fishy, wait, wait, what's, uh, right there, fishy digital photo, you can look on Facebook and see what I've done so far, and I've got the list there in my Gmail account, so you can send me emails telling me how bad I am, or how good I am, or whatever, uh, so what we are going to be doing today is doing the cover photo for this and like I said in the description of this video uh, I'm taking uh, well taking this this will be a little bit like the joy of painting but instead of uh, I, I'm not much of a painter so no funny happy little clouds or little trees are gonna do this so this <laughs> this is the uh, cover uh, cover image I'm gonna use uh, and I'm gonna show you how I did this uh, so let's go to big screen uh, and here is what we started off a nice picture here of Bob Ross and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna superimpose my face well parts of my face because I'm we're gonna keep the smile of Bob but it's gonna be well, like you saw before. So the first thing is we need a picture of myself to put over his face. And brace yourself. Ugh. Don't I look happy? Anyway, so basically in f uh, Photoshop, it's basically a the main thing that di differentiates it from uh, Lightroom is that you have layers. So basically... I've, you get the picture there of Bob and then on another layer above it is my beautiful mug I don't know so what I have to do is find a way to superimpose that thing face whatever you want to call it on top of Bob's face so the first thing you do like I'm saying the difference between Lightroom and and uh, Photoshop, the biggest one is masks. But that's not where I want to take the mask. So let's just go back from there and let's have the big screen. So he, we are going to go on the layer one, that's called. But let's me just say, call that Peter. And hit this little button down here that will uh, bring on a mask. So, actually, I'm not going to do that first. First, I'm going to do is bring down the opacity, which is how how much light goes through, and bring that down so you can see a ghost image of me and Bob in behind. So we're going to go to the move, move. Smart options is faster before proceeding. Edit, well, cancel. So let's see. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, let's put the. All right. So they don't want to do it. So let's see. I'm still on. I'm not on move. That's why it was still stuck on brushes. 
So anyway, so I'm moving this and putting the eyes that now, as you can see, the angle that my mug is is not the same angle as Bob. So what we're going to do is superimpose the noses. And then we're going to go to free transform, which lets you transform it freely. Otherwise, you have to pay some money on it. No, not really. It means uh, constrained. So I move this little target thing on the nose, which is I'm, I'm going to rotate the image and it'll rotate from that point right there on both of our noses just like an axle and I can move this like that and maybe bring it up just a bit there we go there we go so and hit enter and there so bring the opacity back up you see my image you, s you don't see Bob in between now I've already gotten the uh, the mask on so uh, all the uh, courses I take the instructors go remember on black you conceal white you reveal so this mask is white so you see everything but if I invert the mask may meaning changing the white to black if that's gonna work oh because I press the wrong button invert it I disappear but we know that my eyes and nose are in that area so I'm going back to the brush which I was stuck on earlier but couldn't go and let's see we got the opacity set to 30 we can see what that does right now but nothing's happening no wait it is let's bring up the opacity of the ink to 60 percent there you go there's my eye and then there's my other eye and bring my nose in so that actually a little bit better than it was in the previous one I did so there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, yeah, that's pretty good all right so um there's a little bit of a color difference between the, uh, well, you can't see, between the light underneath, the skin underneath my eye and the skin on Bob's uh, skin. The coloration is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is go to the eye, and that gives you this little dropper that can pick up color so I'm going to click there but it, noth nothing's coming up because we're still in the mass so we'll go down to the original picture click there and you see right here in the uh, the color the color turned into that color of peachy color or whatever so we're going to go over here and put in a solid color layer above, which destroys everything. But we've got a way to get around that. So first, we're going to link the color layer to my picture. So it's, it's well, it's not so bad. So we're going to go now to change the blending options from normal to color so the colors thing but now I've got pink eye and I know some people out there 
don't like pink eye. That's why they don't use uh, VR goggles. But look what we have here on the color fill thing. Another mask. So what we're going to do, I'm going to blow up the picture a little bit. And hit the mask and switch back to my brush and you see it's the the down here in the on the left hand side there's the black square over the white square that means if I use the brush now it'll go black it'll put black on the white uh, mask and if I hit X it switches over and it would print white but putting white on white nothing's gonna happen so let's go back to black and my brush is a little bit too big so what we can do because I'm gonna the hardness is like the edge you do a well let's we'll go back to this one and I'll show you the difference between softness and hardness okay the hardness of zero and let's just bring the thing. So you, it's a soft edge on it. But if you go and change the hardness to 100%, it there's a there's a hard edge just to it. Thus, the name hard. Anyway, so let's go back to the copy and that see the little X but the the uh, circle around it was so big you have to lower it down so we got a good thing and check again hardness is good so we hit enter to go that and we'll go a little bit smaller and we do that and my brown eyes turn blue again which is a good thing. All right. And nice white eyes or white ish. So we'll go back to the full things. And there we go. Uh, Bob Fisher or, or Peter Ross or whatever you want to do. Now, like I said before, I can't paint. Well, I could try, but usually it's walls or or steps or things not not artistically painting so I've been doing a lot of uh, mashups things like this before uh, a friend of mine on her Facebook feed had a thing people were fighting over whether it's a soda or a pop so I go well let's make the uh, eternal struggle ultimate I'll just double click on that so we'll go into the original the ultimate fight soda versus pop so here in uh, the Maritimes we call it pop a lot of places in the states call it soda and but there are a few places that call it pop and then if you're down south it's a coke that doesn't matter good orange coke whatever but enough of that We'll go back, and uh, so I will so basically what I did is I so somewhat similar to the uh, putting my face on Bob's face, I took the original thing and manipulated it so it will look like it's on the uh, on the easel there and uh, just put a little bit of blur on it to make it look look sort of th three-dimensional as if it's on the on an angle there and in in photography it's called the uh, a shallow depth of field that means only certain parts of the image will be in focus when when focused and uh, that's the basic effect on that but if we look we'll turn that off we'll see 
Bob's got a paintbrush on his in his hand. Now, like I said, I can't paint, and actually, that's 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 the sort of paintbrush that I have used. But anyway, either way, it's not an art brush. So we have a. I went out and I found this image of what I've got right here, the uh, the Intuos pen from Wacom or Wacom or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. And we're going to replace the brush with the uh, Wacom stylus. Sorry. All right. So we are going to our select thing and hit uh, color range. All right, so we're going to cancel that first. I'm going to make it so that is the only thing that's visible. So the color range thing won't get get uh, confused. I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit the white. And actually, a whole lot of that because it could be a gradation of different whites there. And we're going to invert it because if I hit hit uh, OK, it'll choose the white background and not the uh, the pen. And we're going to say OK. And we are going to hit the so it's selected you they call it the marching ants that's going around the pen i'm going to hit the add vector mat no not add vector mask that's the wrong one on that one i'm going to add a layer mask on it and the everything the white background is dropped off and the pen is re is left behind well most of the pen because if you look really close there's there's some see-throughness here in the uh, in the barrel. So what I'm gonna do? We're back on the uh, the layer mask for the Wacom, and I'm gonna get the the uh, the brush. Now our color we're gonna be painting is black, so that erases. So we're going to step back and hit the X button to make it we're painting with white and as you noticed uh, the opacity of the ink is not there's it's coming in but there's still a little bit because I don't have the the opacity of the ink set up to 100 so I'll put that on 100 right now and a little trick we're gonna let's see dab here and go over here hold down the shift key and we got a whole line of white clearing out the okay that's doing it's just and then we'll increase this thing a bit here and click here and everything looks good. Okay, so we're going back to the normal size. I'm going to turn on everything. And Bob in the back. And we are going. Ooh. Uh, let's. We're still on there, so we're going to go back to the black see there's a little bit of a of a halo around the uh, the bottom side of the stylus so I'm going to just paint in here let happy strokes happy strokes and once again we can use the, the little trip I'm gonna click there hold the shift and clear that a little higher and there we go so and we can we can cheat a little bit here 
underneath because I am going to be putting this underneath his uh, in his hand so it's the bottom side won't be that visible so now we've got we're done with the uh, mask or we're not done with it we're not gonna throw it away but it, it everything we need to change is changed and we go to the regular image and go to the V to move it and bring it down here but the sorry it's my oh no, and that's moving the wrong thing too all right so we're gonna move this down to about here but that's really not a very natural angle so we're gonna go back to the free transform and and rotate it a bit and there but I don't I don't know about you but like I can't hold something like this so we're gonna finish the free transform and go back turn everything off and go back to the original image we're gonna use the selection tool quick selection tool and get his thumb here and that should do it so we've got a selection of his thumb we're going back to turn everything back on and go on to the the uh, the uh, mask for the pen and we're gonna since it's outlined I can go to get my brush on which is black and ah no see it since it's a mat the only the masks part can be drawn on so I'm gonna bring up this a bit and pop now since there's two masks here there's a little bit of there you go but that still looks kind of hmm strange 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 why does This is strange. Why is there a little bit of... Because we're on there. And... Oh, this smart filter. Because I've got the smart filter for the thing. So let's see if I go on there. And... that doesn't do anything hmm I don't know what's going on here but so we got here this thing okay so we'll X that out and the opacity is normal let's see hardness is it's 100% hard, so that shouldn't do anything. So let's just go back. I guess that'll be okay. I want to know why that... Well, let's put... Hmm. Well, maybe we'll figure that some other time. 
So we've got uh, my face on here. We've got the uh, the work, the work that Bob Fisher is going, or Bob or Peter Ross is doing. So all we've got left to do is put in the uh, my photo thing, and we've got our picture now. Yeah, I guess that'll be okay. The The eyes are a little bit, seem a little bit high, but I think we can live with that. So, anyway, let's go back to that. So, uh, that's my initial thing of streaming. Uh, get this picture, and it's somewhat similar to this picture, but a little bit different. I think, think the uh, shading's a little bit better on the newer one. So, uh, anyway, thanks for joining me, and hopefully see you soon. And remember, uh, any comments, questions, leave it at the bottom of the bottom here, or email me there with the email along the top, or uh, comment on my uh, photo photography thing on uh, Facebook. So, thank you. Bye.